Okay, standard grade drawing ray diagrams. You need to be able to draw a ray diagram, be able to use a ray diagram to show how the image on the retina is formed, i.e. upside down and back to front. Okay, to draw a ray diagram, first thing we need to do is to draw a lens and a surface to place your object on. There is our lens and there is our surface. Step two is to mark on the focal length of the lens on both sides. The focal length is measured from the centre of the lens to the point where the lens would cross. If I was to shine a parallel ray of light from the left or the right, this, these are the points at which the light would come to a focus. Now, draw an object on the left of the lens further away than the focal point. Use an arrow as an object. So we've got an arrow on the left hand side there. Remember that the arrow is like a point source and the light comes around from every direction from the tip, tip of that arrow. We're interested in two rays of light from that arrow. The first ray of light we're interested in comes from the tip of the arrow and goes straight into the lens. So this one here, straight into the lens like that. Because it's going into the lens like that, just like a parallel beam would do, it bends down through the focal point, just like that. We're interested in a second ray of light. second ray of light comes from the tip of the object and goes straight through the lens. Because it's hitting the centre of the lens, it goes straight through. It doesn't get bent at all. And if you notice on the left hand side, the rays of light are together at the point of the object. On the right hand side, the points where the lines cross, that is going to be where the object is going to be formed. Notice that the object is upside down, and we also know from our focal length experiment that the object will be back to front as well.